there. I want to encourage you to read an excellent booklet that is free of charge and can be sent to you without any cost or obligation. It is an explanation, an exposition about the gospel of the kingdom of God. This is a much misunderstood matter with many different understandings. That is, understandings in inverted commas, because the Bible is very clear about this. Let me read to you a brief extract from this booklet, and this is as follows. The word gospel simply means good news. Jesus Christ was a messenger sent by God the Father to proclaim the gospel, or the good news. But people did not want to hear it and eventually killed Christ. His true disciples were also persecuted when they continued to proclaim the very same message that Christ brought. What was it about this message that created so much hostility among the listeners? And why does there continue to be such a variety of ideas about what the gospel is? There is only one true gospel but many counterfeits. Already at the time of the Apostle Paul, another gospel, a counterfeit, was being preached. Paul warned everyone not to accept or believe this counterfeit. In fact, not to accept any message which is not the true and only good news that Christ brought. He states in Galatians 1 verses 6 to 9, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ, the good news that Christ brought. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than that which we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. And why could Paul be so sure that the gospel that he had preached to them was the only true one? Because he had received this message directly from Christ, as he states in verses 11 to 12. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Christ, the messenger of the good news, revealed it to Paul. Just what was this message? That's a good start to the whole subject. Do you understand what the kingdom of God is and what relevance it has in your life? This subject is covered with the following chapter headings. What is the gospel? Kingdom of God has not yet come. The kingdom of God will be here on the earth. Human beings cannot enter the kingdom of God. Why were humans created? An important job for all eternity. When will the kingdom come? The kingdom of God has come upon you. Count the cost. The kingdom of God is a growing family. The law and the prophets were until John. We must be about our father's business. No eternal life for the wicked. That is, 13 areas covered in this 32-page booklet. I wholeheartedly recommend this to you and you can download this from the website www.globalchurchofgod.co.uk all in lower case or even read it online. However, if you want a free copy then just write to the Global Church of God PO Box 2111 2 followed by 3 ones Derby, D-E-1-1-Z-R in the UK. There is no cost or obligation and we look forward to you visiting the website or hearing from you. Mm -hmm.